Hi, this is JP from No The Lights Over Arkham. Uh, this is the third scenario in the Return to the Circle Undone campaign with Wendy Adams, and it is the secret name. Uh, so, just quickly going through that, uh, we only got one experience from the last scenario, because I uh, left the uh, manor quite fast in the end. I didn't want to take the risk of uh, getting defeated or something like that, so I just so that I grab one XP and run for it. So that is why I didn't do any upgrades to the deck. I will put the deck list into the video description, but uh, I won't go through the deck in this video. So if you're interested to see the deck list, check the video description. Uh, we have one experience bank, so I'm hoping to get a couple of more experience from this scenario. This is a uh, Notoriously hard scenario for true solo, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, we have the hermit on the upside, so our hand size is uh, big, uh, three bigger than normal, so it is uh, 11. If I, yeah, 8 plus 3 is 11, so uh, that is, well, uh, as an afterthought, I think I could have uh, put this. Uh, uh, downside so that we could have had another uh, scenario have an up uh, upright uh, tarot card but it is what it is I wasn't thinking clearly at the moment but uh, uh, going through quickly about uh, through the changes for the return to version there are a, a couple of there are like four new up, unknown places locations uh, nothing that big uh, of a change for me at least of course the encounter decks have changed uh, or the sets in the encounter deck have changed to the new ones which are quite nasty so we'll see how this goes but uh, without further ado let's get started let's draw our opening hand of five cards so one two five uh, we get uh, Lucky, Perception, Scout Ahead, Backstab and Perception. Well, I think Scout Ahead is not that good at the start of the scenario. I think one Perception is enough. Uh, backstab I'll keep because that is a really good card if we run into the in the Brown Jenkin or some of the rats. Uh, just to remind, uh, we need three exp uh, three clues to uh, advance. Uh, basically, we need four because we need one clue to enter uh, Walter Gilman's room. So that that and uh, in non-weakness, enemy gets plus one health. So all the rats have two health, and Brown Jenkin and Nahab have uh, plus one health. So after you defeat Brown Jenkin or Nahab, gain one clue from the token bank. Two clues instead if there are three or more investigators. So uh, if we run into Brown Jenkins, we have a backstab, so we evade the backstab and uh, then. Or we just backstab, yeah, and see how that goes. Well, uh, let's draw. We get a track shoes and lock picks. Those are really good. I'm definitely going to play lock picks right away so we can start getting the clues we need. We need to be quite fast in this scenario, so we don't run out of time. This is a pretty long scenario if it goes well, if it goes poorly, yeah, it might not be that long, but we'll see how this goes. Okay, so first action, we'll play the lock picks. And this is the upgraded lock pick, so it comes into play with three supplies. Second action, we will uh, investigate. I'm using the lockpick, so I'm investigating uh, 8 versus 4. Uh, the haunted here is my uh, lose 3 resources, so hopefully we won't fail this. Minus 3. Uh, actually, we're 7 versus 4, minus 3 is 4, so we are barely succeeding. But uh, because we didn't succeed by enough, we need to succeed by at least two, uh, we have to remove one of the lockpicks, so that is that, but that is okay. Uh, last action, 
let's go here. So we find the Joe Masurevich's room. Uh, it is a three shard location with one uh, clue. Action search your deck for a blessed or item asset and add it to your hand to limit once per game. Haunted, you must either take one horror or choose and discard an asset you control. So we could uh, search for the um, uh, Wendy's amulet here. It is quite powerful action. But that is our whole turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw a card. Uh, we find a letter of gold and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom to the agenda. It is one of four. Encounter card is uh, dispoiled. Put dispoiled into play in your threat area. After you, success, uh, after you succeed at a skill test during your turn, increase the difficulty of each subsequent test you perform this turn by one. Uh, action test will power 3. If you succeed, discard it is spoiled. If there is an exhaust which enemy at your location, the test automatically succeeds. So I think we need to get rid of this. But uh, first, we'll spend 3 resources to play the track shoes to boost our agility. Just place it over here again. Then, second action, we'll search for the Wendy's amulet from our deck. So, let's see, where is it, and this amulet, let's take it into hand, and the last action we will investigate using the rock picks again, and uh, I haven't done any skill tests, so we are testing uh, 7 versus 3. That is okay. So, <clears throat> hoping to succeed by two or more. So we don't break a lock pick again. <laughs> Minus four. So we barely succeed. I think I'll just go with it. I'll grab the clue, break a lock pick, and that is that. Not getting that lucky with the uh, token draws this game. I could use Wendy's ability, but uh, why? Waste cars because we, we still have one lockpick left. Uh, no enemies will go to upkeep. We draw a card, we get scout ahead, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we'll add another doom. Two of four. Counter card is from the other side. Terror Spectral Revelation test. Agility 3. If you fail, resolve each haunted ability. If you fail by three or more, solve each of them twice instead. So the haunted here is you must either take one horror or choose and discard an asset you control. Uh, we are testing five versus three, so I think I'll, uh, I won't commit anything. We have the lucky, just in case if we fail badly. But if it's a zero, so we're fine, so nothing happens. So now we succeeded at a skill. Uh, during your turn, so the middle space doesn't count for the dispoiled, which is pretty good. So, first action we'll move. We'll use the track shoes to move again. And now, let's see. Zero. So, we'll move here. So, we find Frank Elwood's room. Uh, three shroud, one clue. Uh, haunted, you must either place one of your clues on Frank Elwood's room or place one doom on the current agenda. There's one clue here, and uh, second action we will investigate. And now we have plus one difficulty because of this spoiled. So this is cum cumulative, so if we succeed here. We need to increase the difficulty again, but okay, I'm using the lockpicks. And uh, uh, we are investigating uh, 7 versus 4. It is a minus 3, so we would uh, break a lockpick, but I am playing the lucky so that we don't. Unfortunately, we have to spend the lucky here, but we are able to grab the clue and we don't break the lockpick. Uh, last action, we'll move to Moldy Halls to wait for next turn. 
and that is our turn. So no enemies will go upkeep. We draw the unexpected courage and we gain one wisdom plus. So ready this, and that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at three of four doom. Encounter for these. Uh, unavoidable demise. Uh, revelation test agility 2. If you fail, take 2 damage. If you succeed, put unavoidable demise, demise into play next to the agenda deck. While unavoidable demise is next to the agenda deck, each copy of unavoidable demise gets plus 1 difficulty and deals plus 1 damage if this test is failed. Okay, so we are testing 5 versus 2, not committing anything. Skull, and Skull is minus one because we are not in an extra dimension location, so that is a pass. So this goes next to the... let's see. Yeah, so this goes here. And next one is one more difficult and deals one more damage, so those, those are pretty nasty. Uh, first action, I think now we have time to... Uh, get rid of this, so I'm testing the willpower uh, 4 versus 3 and uh, I'm actually committing the unexpected courage, we really want to pass this test without any trouble uh, minus 2, so good thing we committed that, so we get rid of the despoiled second action will move here so uh, landlords, quarters Crowd of two, one clue, force. After you reveal landlord quarters, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a swarm of rats and spawn it in moldy holes. Shuffled encounter deck. Haunted, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a swarm of rats and spawn it in moldy holes. Shuffled encounter deck. Okay, and um, we'll search for the swarm of rats. So we are here. There is Prime Jenkin, there is Swarm of Rats, we shuffle the encounter deck. So the only enemies in this deck are three Swarm of Rats and Prime Jenkin, and as we remember, they all have plus one health. So this Swarm of Rats has uh, two health, so we can't just punch it. We have to punch it twice or use a backstab or something. But I'm, I'm thinking I'm evading uh, them when they come in next. Uh, enemy face, then we'll evade and move, move and uh, advance so they get left behind. So that is my plan at least. Okay, so this uh, spawn in the moldy holes, so not on us yet, on uh, unfortunately. Uh, last action we will investigate using the hawk pigs here. So I'm investigating uh, 7 versus 2. It is a plus one, so we'll grab this clue. We have all the clues we need. And that is our turn. Enemy face, the uh, swarm of rats hunts here, hits us for one damage. And that is it. Uh, we'll go to upkeep, we draw <laughs> abandoned and alone. Take two direct horror and remove all cards in your discard pile from the game. So we lose lucky and we lose unexpected courage for this game. And we take two or so that that is nasty. Okay, well, what can you do? At least we didn't lose that many cards for the abandoned and alone. And we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So we add a doom, so the agenda advances. That unfortunately means that we are I think uh, if I remember correctly, we are going to see the Enter of Brown Jenkin here. So, if Brown Jenkins is in play, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a swarm of rats and spawn it in Brown Jenkins' location. If Brown Jenkin is not in play, search the encounter deck and discard pile for him and spawn it in the lead investigator's location. Additionally, if there are three or more investigators, well, we can just skip that. Okay, so um, we get Brown Jenkin, and now each non weakness enemy gets plus two health. Uh, after after you defeat Brown Jenkin or Nahab, gain one clue from the token bank. So I think this is the perfect time to uh, play backstab if we had enough resources, which we don't. 
unfortunate. Well, I think we'll save that and move for later. So evade, evade, and run for it. We'll see. So uh, here is Brown Jenkin. So Brown Jenkin is a one fight, uh, three health, four evade. Uh, we could just. Uh, Do we have any way to get the resource easily? No. So that, I think we have to uh, risk it and try to just evade and run from Brown. Well, Brown Jenkin is aloof, so we don't have to evade him. That is okay. Yeah, I forgot the aloof, so that doesn't change our turn that much. We will just uh, run away. And well, we, we want to defeat Brown Jenkin at least once because that uh, nets us one experience at the end of the scenario. So uh, then uh, we get an encounter card for this turn, and it is Vice and Villainy. Uh, attach Vice and Villainy to the non permanent asset you control. Limit one per asset. Post when the encounter deck runs out, card, out, out of cards, discard that asset. Post when attacks us, please play test uh, will 3 if you fail, attacks wise and villain to a different non permanent asset you control. So I'm just putting it on the. Well, this doesn't uh, prevent us from using the asset, I think. Yeah, so I, I just put it on the lockpicks. That is fine. Mm. Okay, so first action. We are definitely uh, evading the rats. Uh, we are at 5. Versus three. I think that is good enough. Skull is uh, minus one still, so we are able to avoid uh, evade the rats. Second action will move. Uh, we'll use the track shoes to move again. And we'll moving to the Walter Gilman's room. Uh, 5 vs 3 test, uh, it is uh, 0, we are good, so we'll spend one clue to enter the room. Uh, 4 shroud, one clue, uh, action draw 3 cards and take one horror, limit once per game, Dis uh, haunted discard the top 2 cards of the encounter deck. Okay, uh, we, I think we will grab this clue here while we're here. Because we need the clues later. So I'm using the lock picks here. And I'm using the perception. No, we'll save the perception. So I am uh, 7 versus 4. And of course it's a minus 3, so we break the last lock pick. So this uh, card actually triggers, unfortunately. Let's see what happens. So. But we'll get the clue. That that is the main point here. Okay. Um, when the attacks as it leaves play test, uh, we'll follow three. If you fail, attacks twice and land to another. So we we are testing four versus three. It is a plus one, so this also gets discarded. So we get rid of that. Now uh, at the end of well, uh, we'll. Go to the villain phase. Uh, we move Brown Tank in here and uh, upkeep the rats. Will uh, ready. Draw a card. We get the waylay and we gain one resource. So waylay. Uh, uh, we is good against the rats, I think, but not not against the brown jenkin. So now we spent the three clues to advance at the end of the round. So um, swap Walter Gilman's room with the set aside Gesaya's room, taking its place. All tokens, cards, and formal locations are now at, at the new location. Uh, remove each other location in play from the game. Choose an investigator to take control of the set aside the book of uh, the black book asset. Shuffle uh, both set aside copies of strange geometry into the counter deck. So we get uh, Isaiah's room. Uh, those get shuffled, and we get the black book. So 
so we'll remove everything so uh, this gets discarded uh, brown jenkin gets discarded while these get removed get Kesaya's room where we are at. These get shuffled and be shuffled and encounter this group. Only only these two into the encounter deck. So um Ron Jenkin and the rats are in the discard at the moment. Uh, the new Doom Threshold is six by the way, which I forgot to mention at the beginning of this turn. Okay, so we've got this shuffled, and uh, let's see, so uh, Shroud of Three, Zero Clues, after you successfully investigate Kesaya's room, instead of discovering clues, put the top part of the Anplong Places deck into play, unrevealed, then you may move to that location, on the discard cards from the top of the encounter deck, until the hex card is discarded, draw the card, so uh, we are here, that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. Well, actually, we did the uh, enemy and upkeep already. I totally forgot. So, let's look at the black book. Uh, it boosts our willpower and intellect. So, pretty good for uh, Wendy. When you play a card, exhaust black book and take X or reduce the cards caused by X. So, that is also may maybe useful. But that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a Doom, 1 of 6, and counter card for this turn is Fate of All Fools, so this just comes into play and nothing else happens. So, first thing first, we want to play Wendy's Amulet. No. Uh, let's wait a bit. So, let's investigate. I'm investigating 4 versus 3. I'm using the Perception, so... Uh, six versus three. Auto fail. I think I will discard leather coat. So I will try again with Wendy's ability. Minus two. We are able to succeed. We'll draw a Tukapobia. So we get our weak, uh, basic weakness for the first time. Uh, after you fail a skill test, take one horror. Or Antipophobia. So I'm thinking I'm just uh, discarding that this turn, but we'll get the first occasion here and let's move in it. So uh, this is one of the newer uh, the secret name locations. So the price manner, choose route one clue, uh, action test uh, combat five to double the strain Eldritch statue. If you succeed, remove one room from a hub, even if she is out of play, group limit one. Okay. On the placement doom and a hub. Well, that is not gonna happen. So, yeah, uh, double action will just get rid of this. And that is our turn. Enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep, we draw another card. Postian bargain, gain one resource. So, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that our objective is to get five clues, so we really need to still keep investigating. And uh, then we need to spend the five clues at Witch Hunt Ruins, which uh, are in the bottom four cards of this deck, so we need to go through a lot of these locations first. So, uh, we'll add Doom, two of six, and counter card is uh, Unstable Energies. Revelation adds to your location. When you leave it at that location, resolve each haunted ability on it. Pause at the end of the round if there are no investigators that at that location discard unstable uh, energy. So the haunted here is placement doom on a hub, even if she is out of play. So I think we'll have to do that. So we'll just put the hub somewhere out of play here. So I can place the doom on, on her. So that is the 
uh, mythos phase, investigation phase, we will... We will investigate 4 versus 2. Minus 2, we grab the clue, that is good. Second action, we'll play uh, Wendy's Amulet. Last action, we'll move out of here, so I will put the doom on a hub. We can't avoid that, unfortunately. And that is our turn. Uh, at the end of the round, this gets discarded. Well, we'll do that now, so we don't forget. Go to upkeep, we draw one card, Professor William Webb, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 3 of 6 2. Uh, at, uh, hmm. I think Nahab is not in play because it's out of play, so we don't count uh, the Doom on her. So we are at 3 of 6 2. And counter card for this turn is. Unstable energies. So that's your location. You leave this location, resolve the 100 abilities. So the is a card from the top. Yeah, okay, that is okay. So, first action we'll play Professor William Webb and get um, three things on him. Uh, we'll play. Uh, we'll investigate, so 4 versus 3. Zero. Uh, we'll put another location to play and move there. So we uh, discard card from the top of the encounter deck, and if it's a hex, uh, draw that card. It is a curse, so we don't throw that unluckily. And we find the Moldy Halls earlier uh, tonight. Two Shroud Zero, Extra Dimensional Witch House. Mm. Action, you request aid from your past self. Each investigator at this location may return one card from his or her discard pile to his or her hand. Each investigator who does so remembers that. Uh, he or she meddled with the past currently once per game. I think we don't necessarily need that. And last action, we will uh, investigate here. 4 versus 2. There is no hunted ability here, so we are safe to investigate. And this is just so that the uh, Professor William Webb can fetch our lockpicks back from the Discord. Zero, we'll get the lock picks. And uh, next turn, 14 back and lock picks and move back to the precise room. So at the end of the round, this again discards. Uh, no enemy actions, we'll draw a card. Letter code, we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, four of six doom encounter card for this turn is in, is quite in dreams. Uh, test build power five. If you fail, put this point in dreams in the plane of threat area. Fourth at the end of the turn, discard the top card of the encounter deck. Uh, fourth when the encounter deck runs out, of course, discard this point in dreams and reveal the top ten cards of your deck. Draw each weakness revealed and discard each other card. Okay, so. We are testing, uh, uh, we don't have anything to commit, so um, when this amulet is our only hope, so let's see. We are testing uh, 5 versus 5, so 0 also works. Uh, minus 2 we fail, so this comes into play. Nothing we can do about that, so... At the end of the turn we discard the top card of the end card. Deck, so that is annoying. Uh, okay, that is the Mythos phase. Uh, first action will play Faustian Bargain. Uh, we get five resources, but immediately I will use three of them, so I'll just put three here. So we play the lockpicks. 
for our second action. Last action, we'll move back to Kesaya's room. And that is our whole turn, so our fast turn. At the end of the turn, we discard the top card here, and it is a uh, Trespasser. Okay. Uh, we'll go to upkeep. We draw a card, another Faustian bargain. Oh, yeah, and uh, we don't, we can't forget to add the two curse tokens into the encounter, uh, in the chaos back for the first Faustian bargain we played. Okay. So, uh, we also gain one resource, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 5 of 6 Doom, and count card is Swarm of Rats. Okay, well, Swarm of Rats uh, engages us, and it is uh, it has 3 um, health now. So we could uh, either backstab or we, I think we will uh, ec uh, evade and uh, waylay to defeat it. That sounds uh, like a good plan. So uh, first thing uh, we'll do is to evade. I'm committing the scout ahead to the test. Evading um, 7 versus 3. Lucky we did to, uh, committed that, so we are able to pass with the minus 4. We'll uh, play Waylay. And uh, 5 versus. Uh, five versus three, yeah. Minus one, so we hit with Waylay, and the swarm of rats is uh, defeated. So it goes into the discard. Last action will investigate using lockpicks. Uh, now we are investigating uh, nine versus three. Curse, 7 versus 3, auto fail, uh, I will discard Faustian Bargain to draw again, so we ignore this draw. Elder sign, automatic success, so... Oh yes, sorry. We, we played the Faustian Bargain when we had the amulet. Also played Waylay. Nothing else. Yeah, because I, I forgot that the, when this am, amulet is abilities for. So these go at the bottom of my, my deck, not in the discard. Yeah. Now oh, that should be correct. So uh, we succeed. Uh, we'll draw the next location. It is the Library of Ebla, and it is a newer location. Four shroud, uh, two clues. Test will power five for to search the library for arcane lore. If you succeed, deal three damage to a half. Even if she is out of play, court limits once success per game. So that could be useful, but I think the clues are more useful at the moment. So we will. Try to grab those clues in a couple of turns, perhaps. And that is our turn, no enemies. Uh, again, we discard a card. It is another curse, so no hex. Then we'll uh, draw Alter Fate, which we could use, and we gain one resource. So uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Oh, yeah, this ready also. Okay, so let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 6 Doom of 6, so this unfortunately advances. So, the 
crown. If it's actually spawned a set aside the harp in Kesaya's room. So the harp spawns here. And that is not nice. Shuffle both set aside copies of Gold Clipper Ascendance into the encounter deck. Find Brown Jenkins even if his other player plays him in the half's current location. So let's see. Brown Jenkins is here. So now this uh, scenario gets really difficult. We still need to. Uh, find a way to get the fifth uh, clue. Uh, that can be done with Brown Jenkins, actually. Uh, we'll just uh, have to defeat Brown Jenkins so we grab one clue. But uh, let's see. Each non weakness enemy gets plus three health. So now Brown Jenkins has five health. So we really need to find a way to deal the extra damage. But we'll cross that problem when we get to it. And the uh, ghostly presences uh, get shuffled here. We shuffle the encounter discord bar. No, only the ghostly presences. Okay, and that is. The start of the, uh, the advancing, then we get an encounter card, and it is a uh, fate of all fools, so we, hmm, we just uh, get a new card, we can commit cards to that test, so test the uh, willpower 2, this gets plus 1, non pressure in your player, we have 2, so 4, uh, 5 against 4 test, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, we fail, take 2 damage or 2 or will. We'll take the damage. Okay. That is the mythos phase uh, and uh, investigation phase. We will investigate using the lockpicks. Uh, nine versus four. Minus two, we'll grab the clue here. We'll investigate again. Uh, we are investigating four versus four, so. Do we have anything to commit? So, no, I think, the, well. This is a bit risky, but there is no haunted. Uh, effect here, so I think we are fine trying. Uh, it is an extra dimension also. It's minus 3p. Uh, and minus 2. Well, no, hop is not in that location, but that's fine. Okay. there anything else we could do here? I think uh, we'll draw a card. Yeah, yeah, let's let's not do anything else. Uh, we'll play the leather coat actually. We need some damage so. So that is, is our last action. Uh, we don't investigate. We'll use the lockpicks next turn to investigate better. Uh, we'll go to the enemy phase. So uh, both of these hunt here. Uh, the hub engages us, hits us for one damage and two more. Brown Jenkins uh, is aloof, uh, so uh, when the enemy phase ends, if Brown Jenkins is ready, each investigator at his location discards their hand, draws uh, that many cards. Oh, yeah, and uh, this figure at the end of our turn, another curse, so. Didn't hit an hex. We discard these, draw two cards. Lock picks and lucky. Well, 
that is actually good so uh, let's see we took the damage we did the bronze chanking uh, we'll go to upkeep ready up draw a card alter fate gain one resource so that is that turn let's go to the next turn uh, we are at one of eight doom and uh, well there are still two uh, acts to go or agendas to go so we have quite plenty of time at this point encounter card for this turn is a swarm of rats well of course when we are swarmed with enemies we get some more enemies what is better okay first action we are evading the hub uh, evading five versus the I'm committing this, so six versus no. I think it's more better. It is a plus one, so the hub is evaded. Oh yeah, after the enemy phase begins, if the hub is ready, place one doom on her, so Yeah, I have to place one doom there. Well, now the hub is not ready, so... Okay. Uh, second action, evading the swarm of rats. And uh, we, we still have the lucky, so... Not gonna commit anything. Minus one, uh, we evade the swarm of rats. And... Uh, the last action, we will move over here. Because now we can uh, next turn investigate using the professor to get that clue there, then investigate and get the you know, location there and get the last clue we need. And hopefully find the. Uh, how many? Yeah. Okay, so uh, the, the location we are searching for is uh, in these four. So we are nearing the end. Uh, enemy face, uh, Brown Jenkin moves here. We discard our hand. Draw a new hand of three cards. Well, that's okay. Uh, then uh, this ready. Draw a card. Gain a resource. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are a doom, uh, so we are at uh, four of eight. Encounter card is. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot to do this. So it is unfortunately a hex. So this comes into play. Each card uh, costs one more to play. Well, nothing we can do about that. Okay, and the card for this turn was uh, unavoidable demise, so it is uh, plus one difficulty. Let's test it. So, uh, I think I'm not using the waylay, so I'm committing it. So, seven versus. It is uh, minus one, we pass, so this goes here. First action, we will uh, investigate uh, using the lockpicks. No, I'm just investigating, committing this uh, professor William Webb. So, investigating five versus three. Minus two, we succeed, we'll use Dr. William Webb. To grab the clue from here. Second action, investigate again. Uh, four versus. I'll use the perception. Six versus three. Plus one, we'll draw a card. And we get a new location, which is the Salem Gaol. Uh, 1692 uh, three shroud one clue uh, test inter intellect three if you succeed move to the, any reveal location limit once per game move to Kasai's room is the haunted effect so that into play move there 
last action, we will investigate using the lockpicks. So uh, nine versus three. Minus two, we don't break a lockpick, we grab the fifth clue which we need. And uh, that is the investigation phase. Uh, we discard a card. Uh, it is a curse, so no, not a hex. Then uh, Brown Jenkin moves here. Uh, we discard these cards. Actually, committed. I think I committed the professor at least. I think we discard these two, yeah, draw two. Uh, backstab and uh, breaking and entering. So we could engage, evade and uh, defeat Brown Jenkin. That is a thought. Oh yeah, uh, these uh, enemies hunt here. We add a doom and an orb. Okay, well, uh, that is that turn. Uh, yeah, we get the old key ring and one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, as you can see, this uh, scenario is quite long and uh, taxes my brain a lot. Uh, we are at 6 of 8. Do encounter card for this turn is strange geometry. Mm, put strange geometry into play and move to it after the investigator phase ends. Discard strange geometry and move its investigator and enemy here to the location with the most clues. Each investigator removed uh, by this effect takes one damage and one horror. Uh, fast action. If strange ge geometry has no clues on it, move to any reveal location. Yeah. So we'll move there. At least Brown Jenkins isn't able to come to us this turn. Okay. Uh, first action we'll use the. It's already this. We'll use the lockpicks to investigate here. Minus two, we succeed, we'll get the clue. We are able to move to any reveal location. We just move to the Kesai's room. This best engage us. We'll um, investigate. We'll play this so this costs one more. And we are not taking attacks of opportunity for this investigation. So uh, we get a curse, so it's the first curse, I think, because we cancelled the first one. And we get a minus one, so minus three, but we added our agility, so five, yeah, we pass easily. So uh, we evade Nahab, we'll uh, find a location, Court of the Great Old Ones. Okay, and we move to there. This uh, swarm of rats moves with us. Um, there are two clues here. After you enter Code of the Great Old Ones, test uh, will free for each point you fail for I take on four. Oh, yeah, this goes beneath here. Have we played any comic commits? Uh, discard, discard. I think we haven't played any more events. And last action, we will uh, just. We could just try to investigate here. So we'll take one damage from the rats. No. We will um, evade the rats. So. Five versus 
3 minus 2 is okay. Okay, and uh, enemy face, uh, this goes here. This gets discarded at the end of the investigation phase. And uh, that is the enemy phase. We'll go to upkeep. Uh, these ready. Engage us once again. Um, we'll draw a card. Drag shoes, gain one resource. So that is that turn. Uh, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a doom. Uh, we are at 7 of 8. Encounter card is aligned. Uh, so everything costs plus 2 now. Oh, yeah, we actually. This came from this because I forgot again. So this is the encounter. So ghostly presence. If Nahab is in play, ready her, resolve her hunter keeper, and she attacks its investigator at her location. If Nahab is not in the site of sacrifice, well, Nahab ready moves to us. Engages us, attacks us. Well, that is uh, annoying. I think uh, Professor has served his uh, usefulness, so we'll defeat Professor. At least Nahab is not at the Isaiah's room now, so we can go there and investigate. Okay, uh, first action we will evade Nahab, committing the track shoes. So 6 versus 3 minus 1, Nahab is invaded. Second action. I will evade the rats. 5 versus 3 minus 1. Rats are evaded. And we'll I forgot to do the willpower test, so I'll do that now. Uh, I am willpower 5, so 5 versus 3, 0, you're okay, we didn't take any horror for entering there. So last action, uh, we'll move uh, to Kesaya's room, and uh, that is it. So, uh, enemy face, uh, Brown Jenkin uh, will discard our hand. Draw two cards. That is it. Uh, upkeep is ready. We'll draw a card. Uh, test the wheel and we gain one resource. So uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Oh yeah, uh, again I forgot this. Uh, Omen spectral. Nothing happens. Well done, God. So, uh, we add a Doom, so we actually advance, so 3 plus 5 is 8. Uh, let's see. Um, if it's Act 1 or 2, set an Nahab aside out of play and place 4 Doom on Agenda 4A as it enters play. It is still Act 2, yeah. So Nahab goes out of play. And that is that. Now, uh, each non weakness enemy gets plus 4 health. 8. Uh, doom. So we are at 4 of 8, so we are really running out of time. And that is the. Uh, well, we still need to do the encounter card. <sighs> Strange geometry, of course. Well, we move there. Then, uh, first action. Uh, we will investigate. I'm committing the old key ring. Uh, we don't need to do that. I think I could uh, just of will this. Yeah, I, we don't need this. 
I'll uh, cancel it. We will test willpower 5 versus 3. 0. So this goes uh, at the bottom of our deck and not exiled. So we cancel the strange geometry. And it costs 2 because of these damn cards. Well, that's okay. First action, uh, we will uh, investigate using the lockpicks. Investigating uh, 9 versus 3. Tablet, we uh, succeed. And we find the witch house ruins finally. So I just tidy up a bit here. We move there. So, we could investigate and heal horror, limit once per game, uh, haunted lose one action. But uh, we will advance, so only investigators in the witch house ruins may spend the required number of boosts group to advance. Put the set aside sacrifice location in play, sacrifice site location. If it's Agenda 4, find a half even out of play and pleasure at the sacrifice side, move each doom from Agenda 4A to the half. Okay, so, so this location comes here, it's connected. Uh, where is it connected to? Oh, it's connected to here. So, Brown Jenkin moves there, Nahab moves there, uh, the hub gets all the doom from here. We are uh, one away from advancing, so I think we are pretty much out, out of time. The hub can't leave this. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we spent five. Okay. Uh, action. Investigators at this location spend one boost per as group remove one doom from the hub. This action does not provoke attacks of opportunity from the hub. Okay, well, we can at least remove one. Okay. You must either place one doom on the hub or the hub that's action is haunted. Okay, let's move there. Okay, so the hub has seven doom. Okay, last action will uh, spend one crew to remove one doom from the hub. Uh, then uh, we are at uh, the uh, enemy phase, so actually it doesn't matter because the hub is ready, so we place one doom on her, so there is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, so we advance next turn anyway, so nothing we can do. So we add one doom here. The hub attacks us. Uh, we'll take one damage here. And two horror here. We're one away from getting defeated. Brown Jenkin. Oh, yeah, this one's here. Uh, Brown Jenkin discards our hand. We draw cars. And uh, yeah, we have to resolve that. Uh, it is a hex, it comes into play. Pulled by the stars, we move this turn, nothing happens. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to go to the next turn, so we'll just uh, cut to the next turn. So we draw a card, gain one resource, and uh, then we will add a doom to the agenda, which will advance the agenda, and we get resolution one. So that was a long, long jog, and I 
think we got like one experience. So this is just funny. How how long of a scenario for one XP this is, but it is what it is. Each investigator earns experience equal to the uh, victory X value of each card in the victory display. It is one. Yeah. Uh, if Brown checking was defeated, no. If Nahab was defeated, no. Check the act deck. If it uh, is act three, uh, when the scenario ended, it is act three. Yeah. Uh, you, you, your campaign log under Mementos discovered record Gilman's journal and Gesaya's formula. Additionally, any one investigator may choose to add the Black Book story as a treasure deck. This card doesn't count towards the investigator's deck size. If an investigator chooses to include the Black Book in his or her deck, add one skull token to the chaos bag for the remainder of the campaign. And that is all. So I think we are adding that. Uh, we are adding the Black Book because it's a, quite a good card for Wendy. We take the one experience so we at least can upgrade something. At least we didn't take any trauma, and uh, we record the memento. So yeah, that was the secret name. A really long scenario for even when playing through solo. But hope you guys liked this playthrough. Next time we are playing the Wages of Sin, another really tough scenario for true solo. But we'll see how Wendy does in that. So thanks for watching, and until next time.